uh, as you are, are well aware, there's like thousands of, of, of uh, cloud platforms, um, including the cloud like your Azure and AWS. Now, um, given that situation, how would one uh, go about like selecting the platform that's most appropriate to, 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 to what they need to, to achieve as far as IoT is concerned? I wish there was an easy answer for that one also, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's borders on a religious or political discussion sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. a, a lot of times, so you've got the cloud vendors themselves. I mean, I, I won't oversimplify, but there's not too many big cloud vendors out there, right? There's yeah. not any longer. Um, secondly, you, it, you, might, you might choose to use the IoT platform provided by those vendors, or you might choose to utilize a third party platform that, that may be hosted on one of those uh, general purpose cloud vendors. So oftentimes you don't even know what the underlying cloud infrastructure is. Um, you have to consider geographical coverage, right? Um, how, do, do they have data centers near me that can deal with, you know, the latency considerations, availability considerations, uh, data residency, you know, all those kinds of things that are very, very important. Um, do, are they, do they understand the industrial use case? Are they priced to deal with the massive amounts of data ingestion that an industrial process and industrial equipment might generate? Uh, pricing is, you know, it's, it's something a lot of people, it, 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 quite frankly, it can be very difficult to calculate in advance what your cloud costs will be. Um, do, I would also consider, do they have some unique intellectual property around analytics or some other capability? Uh, increasingly, it's becoming a multi-cloud world. I mean, that's just the nature of, uh, you, you might be running Salesforce for, you know, for your CRM systems, some hosted SAP somewhere for your back office systems. Uh, some analytic cloud or, you know, manufacturing intelligence application running somewhere else. Um, so, you know, again, good, good security hygiene on how you connect those two together um, or three or four as the case may be. Um, and I think it's, we have to be thoughtful about what workloads to move to the cloud in the first place, right? Because sometimes the pendulum swings too far one direction or the other. So being thoughtful about uh, cost being one of those, right? Data ingress tends to be one of the most expensive parts. So do we really need to move all that data up? Um, in many cases, the answer is yes. Uh, historically, I would say, and this is just opinion, take it at face value, um, you know, Microsoft has had a much stronger presence in the industrial space. It's just, that's the way it's been. Yeah. Uh, both from an outgrowth of success of Windows and industrial, um, but, uh, you know, other, other cloud vendors certainly have viable solutions as well, and certainly a number of third parties do uh, as well. Uh, so short version is pick your, pick your applications that you really need to use and the capabilities you need to use, um, and then let the, you know, then choose the cloud vendor accordingly. A lot of times, to be honest, uh, companies have already established a deep relationship with one cloud vendor at the IT level. And you might be kind of forced into, you know, for may, sometimes good reasons, but you may, you, that choice may have already been made for the OT people as to which cloud vendor they're going to utilize. 